the operative or one main operative point of my story is that I'm an alcoholic. I have alcoholism in my family. My parents were not alcoholics, but there's eight kids in my family. I think at least six of us um, are uh, just had that alcoholic gene, alcohol, drug addiction. Um, everybody is sober now, which is wonderful, but it's, um, if you have it, and I think almost everyone has come in contact with some form of addiction, and it um, seems to come down one way or another, whether it's behavioral or genetic, no one really knows, even to this day, but um, I had it on both sides of my family, uh, and so I had it really bad, actually, and, um, and before I picked up my first drink, I was 13, um, and even after, uh, very oldest child, straight A student, super, super uh, accomplished. Played the piano, um, won the spelling bee for my, I went to a, my elementary school was grades one through eight. I won the spelling bee for the whole school when I was in sixth grade. I'm still very, very proud of these accomplishments. <laughs> And they were really, like, that was, my life kind of peaked when I was 12, and so <laughs> I, like to, I like to bring those to the forefront. Um, the very next year, um, when I was a freshman in high school, I had my first drink. And, um, and if you're an alcoholic, that first drink is, I always say it was like before Christ, after Christ. Um, uh, I mean, that in the sense that it was an absolutely cataclysmic shift in my life. Um, it instantly, it, alcohol does something for the alcoholic that it does not do for the normal drinker. And in me, the way I describe it is, it, it really was a religious experience, a fake religious experience as it turned out, but, but the alcohol gave me this incredibly compelling feeling of being at one with myself, with my fellows, with the universe. That's really, that's a religious feeling. Religion, as I'm sure you know, re ligare, to bind back together. And that's what alcohol seemed to do for me. It seemed to kind of correct the fall, that schism, that sense that we all, every human being has of a lost Eden that we can't get back to, of this longing, of this incompleteness. And um, 